Hey y'all, it's Candace here. Welcome to my baby shower video slash what I have gotten or received for my baby. So this is how this video is going to work. You're either watching this video on Facebook in a group that my mom created for a baby shower or you're watching this video on my YouTube channel. So I decided to combine these videos because I was planning on doing it for my YouTube channel, but I also want to film things that I received as gifts for my baby shower. For this video, I'm not going to explain who gave me what. I have a running list of who's been sending me what and everything. And we do have plans on sending out like thank you slash, um, what are they called? Uh, announcement cards of her arrival and everything. So I do plan on sending out thank you cards and everything. But this is a way for us to kind of gather together for a baby shower of some sort. So I'm literally just going to walk you through what I've received and also show you what I have received. Starting from my crib all the way down to some of her outfits. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started because this is going to be a long video. One other thing, if you're watching this on Facebook and you've never watch, watched one of my videos before, there will be some editing. There might be parts where like I cut things out or whatever. So that is why. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So first is our crib. I will insert a picture of our crib. This is what we will be using as a bassinet slash crib. It's a mini crib. So it's bigger than a bassinet, but smaller than a normal average crib. And we're going to use this up until she grows out of it. Um, I have read that some babies are in, in this crib until they're 18 months. I have read that some babies are in it until they're two years old. It just all depends. Once she is out of the crib, then I plan on selling it and getting rid of it. And then I will move on to a pack and play, which we also got. I have a picture of that because we don't have it yet. It's still on the way. That was a gift to us. And she will just sleep in a pack and play until then. My hope is that she'll be in the crib until right around the time that we move from Japan. And then wherever we go next, I will get her a crib slash toddler bed and we'll start that transition at some point. But that's her plan when it comes to sleeping. She will be in our bedroom for a while and then eventually she'll transition probably out here. This little area that I'm in is her baby area. She does not have her own bedroom because frankly we don't have the room for an extra bedroom. So. This is her little baby area. The things behind me will eventually get moved in different places as she starts crawling and pulling up and everything. But right now I'm sitting on like this little mat that we bought and this will kind of be her little area and we'll, we'll make it work. I'm not worried at all. Um, I feel like I've explained this to other people and they're more worried than I am. I'm not worried, but that's the plan on her sleeping situation. So, we also got a high chair. I'll insert a picture of that. That's still in the box. I don't plan on pulling it out yet, but I do plan on doing baby led weaning. So basically she'll be eating food starting at six months, like normal people food starting at six months. I don't plan on buying baby food and all that. Um, that's another big item we got. We also have a little bouncer right here that I have. Um, and I got that, well, it's not a bouncer. It's like a vibrating seat. I got that from the thrift store here um, in Japan. I actually got it on the military base. I have this little thing right here that we got at the Japanese baby store. And you can basically lay them in it and then they can play with these. It also lays out flat for them to play in and everything. And I think that is all like the really big items we've received. If I left, if I leave anything out, it's not because I'm not thankful or anything, or I, for, I, I just forgot to show it because I've also started packing for my hospital stuff. 
and some of the stuff I've, re I've received I've also put in my, my hospital area. Keep in mind I only have a few more weeks and I'm getting to the point where I could go into labor at any time so I gotta be prepared. But I think that is everything. All right, so in this room, we have a closet right here. And that is going to be her closet. I'm gonna insert pictures, don't worry. And as you can see, it from all the way at the top to the bottom, it has her stuff. I have boxes in there that have her clothes in it. Um, I have clothes all the way from newborn up to nine months. And then as she grows out of things, obviously I'll take things out and get rid of things and sell things and keep things depending on what we wanna keep for our next baby when that time comes. But this is her closet and that is where we will be keeping everything to include diapers and wipes, etc. So I really like this closet. Um, I do have things I want to hang up. Unfortunately, I bought baby hangers and they don't fit on my rod. It was a bit of a dramatic moment <laughs> when they didn't fit, but we'll work it out. Um, but that is pretty much all of her clothes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in the closet, I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up and show you everything that is in the closet. First thing I have is this bag right here. And this is actually my pump. My pump was thankfully covered by my insurance and it came with this bag and everything. Uh, I guess I can show you which pump I'm using. Uh, it also came with storage bags. Speaking of which, if you are watching this video on my YouTube channel and you are also a military spouse, ask about storage milk bags because our insurance covers it. Did not know that. Anyway, I am using the Spectra Plus One, or is it Plus Two? But I'll put the correct name up. But it looks like this and it's wireless so you'll charge it up and then you can use it pretty much everywhere. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm praying every day that I'm going to be able to pump with no issues and feed my baby because this formula shortage is quite scary. <laughs> I worry every day that I'm gonna have issues. Uh, I would rather have allergies and like change my diet than not be able to produce milk at all, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, I got a baby seat mirror. Forgot to mention, I also did get a car seat and stroller and everything. Having some issues with shipping right now, I contacted the company I ordered it from and they're working on trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I ordered it through Bye Bye Baby. I don't blame them at all, I blame that it's coming from the US to Japan and that's the issue I'm having. Um, but hopefully it's here by June. If it's not, we'll figure something out. But I also got a baby mirror to put in my car. So I can see her cute little face while I'm driving. This is the diaper bag I'm using. This is the Key Babies diaper bag. It's one of those square top bags or whatever. So it opens like this with a square and then it has pockets in it. It came with a changing pad. I also, with a gift card that was given to me, bought another changing pad so I can have a couple. Um, it also has parts to put bottles and everything because I do plan on breastfeeding, yes, but I also plan on pumping and giving bottles because I want my husband to be able to feed her in addition to when family one day can come to Japan and one day when we are able to visit family, they can give her a bottle. So, I also received a gift card from another company called The Saturday Baby and they have a lot of like, um, a lot of, what do you call it? Household like food item things like plates and stuff like this. So this is a snack cup that they have. This is a straw cup that they have. I also got myself a straw cup. So we'll, my baby and I will have matching straw cups. Um, they have a bowl and what's cool is that this bowl attaches to the high chair so they can't like fling it off. It came with a bib and it also came with this plate right here. 
Obviously, she's not going to use this until she is older. Um, I'm going to, like I said, start baby lead weaning at six months, and that's why I wanted it. Um, I'm also going to start her out using straw cups at an early age. It's really good for um, their mouth and development and stuff like that. So that's why it was important for me to go ahead and get it now. I got these stacking soft toys. This was also a gift and um, it's right up there in the Montessori kind of thing. I'm doing a lot of Montessori with her. Montessori is very based on um, imaginary play. Uh, you try and stay away from those toys that like make sound and everything and encourage them and buy like toys that don't make sound to encourage them to make it. Um, it's, it's all about independence and everything. To, it's very important for me for her to be independent I think that's just in general going to be something important in her life especially being a military family that's going to move a lot um, but just in general I like the Montessori I learned it when I was like I learned about it when I was working on my degree and I remember really loving it and now that I'm pregnant with my own child I am researching it more and more but this is one of the toys I have for her, I have a couple others that I've ordered and everything, but yeah. I also got some disposable nursing pads, that's for obvious reason. Okay, I am back with some more stuff, and I also had to put my hair up because I'm having like a major hot flash right now. My, the third trimester, I'm telling you, my hormones have been all over the place. Anyway, the first thing. I have a sound machine. I got this on a gift card that was given to me. And this is a portable one. Um, I'm not 100% set on using a sound machine all the time with her. I don't want her to get used to it. Um, I really need her to get used to all the sounds around us because we have a lot of planes that go by because we don't live far from the Air Force um, and slash airport. So I decided to get a portable one. I can try it some nights, but this will mainly be for when we're out and about and I need her to nap. So yeah, there's that. Um, I also got a Philips Advent uh, bottle warmer. This is what I used to use when I worked in the baby room and I thought it was a really good one. So I found this at the thrift store actually. So there we go. I also got some quick clean wipes for breast pump and accessories. So this will be nice for those in between cleans or whatever. Um, as a gift, I got a fan. Um, I'm planning on taking this to the hospital with me when I'm giving birth, and I plan on using it to strap to her stroller when we're out and about. Maybe I should use it right now because I am hot. Next, I have a Hakka, which apparently, um, this is like kind of like a hand breast pump in a way, but basically you would, you, attach it to one boob while you're breastfeeding and it catches all the milk as it's like leaking or whatever. Apparently you can use it as like a hand one too. Um, so I think I'm going to take it to the hospital with me just in case. But yeah, the Hakka. Um, I got some diaper cream. This was a gift. And I pulled this out and this was actually a Christmas gift to myself, but it's a cup that says mama on it. I think I'm going to take it to, or does it say mama there? I don't remember, but I'm going to take it to the hospital with me um, as my cup while I'm at the hospital. I have this basket right here that has a bunch of baby stuff in it that some of it's going to the hospital. Some of it is just random stuff, um, but I got a thermometer, which was a gift. Um, I got a little boogie nose thing right here. I actually want to also get the Frida electric one or whatever that they have, but got one of those and a little dropper for like medicine, which is great. Aquaphor, um, a little sponge for cleaning out bottles. I got a little teething toy, a brush and a comb. And these are all like, some of these were gifts. Some of these were things I bought and some of them were things I bought but through a gift card. So, like I said, I'm not gonna explain every gift that each person gave me, but yeah. But a brush and a comb. I have some passies in here. I have this name blanket right here. 
but it's going to be a swaddle. I'm not going to show you the name blanket because I'm not revealing her name yet. But then I have various of other things and clothes in here that I'm taking to the hospital with me, including her little hospital outfit. Um, I have an electric nail trimmer that was a gift. I'm planning on taking that to the hospital too. Um, I have bottles in here, but some wipes and things like that. Also, I got a bunch of wipes, uh, these pamper sensitive wipes as a gift. Um, these weren't a gift, but I did get a box, uh, a few boxes of water wipes, which I'm very thankful about. Um, so that was another one of my gifts. But yeah, that's everything that's in that basket right there. Um, I also ordered a nameplate, uh, a wooden nameplate that's going to have her name on it and her weight and all that. I'll like write that on there after she's born. That's going to be part of her name reveal, but I'm still waiting on that to come in. I ordered it from Etsy. I got these bins next to me and we got about six of these different bins right here. They look like this. They're like those cube bins and then they have lids except they're a little bit bigger. Um, and that's how we're storing like clothes and wipes and things like that. And that's honestly how I'm keeping all her clothes organized. I've got like newborn to three months in one and three months to six months in one and all of that. So there we go. And I'll show you some of the outfits between my sister-in-law, my mom, myself, my aunt, and a friend. Um, that is how we have gotten all her clothes. And she's got everything from things I've ordered off Amazon, things I registered from on Amazon, from the PX, from the thrift store. We've got all kinds of things. So very, very, very thankful. Uh, I would have never had as much clothes as I have now without y'all's help. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It was so hard finding newborn. Um, at one point, our PX like stocked up on newborn and I, I grabbed like I think every <laughs> every newborn outfit that they had. Not every newborn outfit, but every newborn like style they had. Um, and then, like I said, some of y'all sent me clothes too. And I'm very, very thankful. So thank you so much. Um, I'm not gonna show you all the clothes I got, but I'll show you some of my favorites. I got some Hawaii outfits. I got these while we were in living in Hawaii. I knew we had intentions of getting pregnant while we were in Japan. And I was like, she has to have a cute little outfit <laughs> and I didn't know what we were having obviously at the time so I bought a boy and a girl outfit and now she has matching outfits with her niece well no with her cousin my niece and my nephew so there we go um oh this is the very 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 first thing I bought her after we found out we were pregnant and it has Dumbo on it right here so it's a little from one of the little Japanese stores here and I cannot wait to put her in this and Dumbo is like a really big deal to me I remember watching Dumbo with my grandpa I don't know why we watched Dumbo together but I remember that so I cannot wait to put her in this outfit and the only reason I didn't get newborn was because they didn't have newborn um, and then look at these cute little outfits right here they got little ruffles on the butt <laughs> So cute. So obviously these are going to be when she is a little bit older and it's cooler outside and everything. Um, but that's some of those right there. Let's go into the next box. Uh, I think those are like the six to nine months clothes in there. Oh, so I got these outfits right here where it has like a matching onesie and pants and a hat and a mitt. For my aunt it was so nice that she sent me that it was one of the things i registered for and what else i think my mom did my mom send me these yeah my mom sent me these right here recently so those are cute look at the beautiful colors though i thought it was going to be this mom that dressed my um kids in like all neutrals and everything and then these patterns nope can't can't look and this <laughs> That's what my sister-in-law sent me. She's got jokes. But yeah, that's a few things. One of the cute outfits I got from Amazon. So we got this little rainbow outfit right here. 
and then these little bloomer things right here and it also came with like a bow but you have to like tie the bow or whatever I have all those in a different spot so yeah that's pretty much everything um, just some random little outfits here and there so that's everything that's in those bins like I said they're all full of clothes and I'm so thankful for everyone that sent me clothes because <laughs> she would not have the collection she has without your help um, we got some baby wash and um, lotion right here um, I'm using the aquaphor one which is paraffin free tear free fragrance free I'm trying to stay away from all fragrances until she's at least a year old um, that's just my personal preference um, and then some lotion and everything so there we go so now I'm going to show you some blankets so a friend of my mom's made this, handmade this. So we got a little knit hat, which will be nice if we get to visit family for Christmas or whatever. She'll be able to wear her knit hat because hopefully it will be cool enough. And then mommy has a, I'm assuming mommy has a matching one or is this for when she gets older and I'm crazy. I don't know, either way. We have another little hat with a little puff ball on top, which is so cute. And then we have a matching blanket, which is so cute. Like this is one of those things I'll keep forever because it was handmade for her, which is so nice, which is so cool because we had someone that handmade a quilt for us when we got married. And that was like a significant time in our life. And now we have a handmade blanket that was by, that was given to us for, you know, when we have a baby. So it's so cool. Um, separate people, but still. We have a towel that has her monogram on it. I keep telling my husband I'm going to buy her all the monogram things and he's like, no, you're not. And then I didn't even buy her the first monogram thing. So there we go. <laughs> um, and he's joking, by the way, he doesn't care really what I buy for her, but there's her monogram. So it starts with an E, then she has a middle name that starts with a G. And then obviously our last name is a S. So keeping her name private. If you know her name, please keep it private until she's born. And then we have this box, another one, except it's in gray. And the only reason I didn't get like pink and stuff like that was because I didn't have those colors. We have a bunch of blankets in here. So we have this one right here, which is one of those milestone blankets. And it has Winnie the Pooh on it because if she would have had her own bedroom, I was planning on doing a Winnie the Pooh theme. So here we go. The classic Winnie the Pooh. Um, I just really like the idea of Winnie the Pooh. I thought it was cute. Uh, we got some mini crib uh, sheets. There's two right here and then we already have one on the bed. Um, I have a bunch of these muslin blankets that were sent to me by various people. Thank you so much right here. Muslin blankets are great. They're nice and thin and breathable. I can use it to cover up if I'm breastfeeding out in public because I will be a person who will cover up when I'm breastfeeding in public. That's my own preference. Um, I can use it to, you know, cover her up when we're in the car, when the temperature drops. So I love these little blankets. Always have. Loved them when I babysat and everything. Um, got some swaddles in here. I also have one in my hospital bag got some other blankets and I got a little thicker blanket right here which will be good when it starts getting cold because it does get pretty cold here it drops down to at least 50 here so that will be nice so next thing I have is a boppy which was given to us the actual boppy was giving to us and then this cover was given to us and this is going to be great to do tummy time on it's going to be great to when I'm breastfeeding to like prop her up and everything I love it. I love the cute design. I registered for two different designs and I actually preferred the other one better, but then got this one and I'm so happy I got this one. Um, I do need to get another design, but I'll probably just get that at the PX um, because they sell them too. Um, so I'll have two covers to like interchange or whatever, but I love it. I can't wait to use my boppy. I hear wonderful things about them. All right, so I have two more little boxes right here. I have this wooden one and I have this one right here and it's just got some random things in here. So this right here goes like to the milestone blanket. 
I've got some bibs in here. Oh, and I got my little mitts in here that came with that one outfit, um, that one packet of outfits I got. I got a bunch of little hats in here too. Um, oh, look at this little Pooh Bear one. Winnie the Pooh. Um, look at these tiny little shoes I got. I got these for free, I got where I paid like shipping or whatever for my company. Um, I've got bows in here. I got some passy clips in here too. I got a little Gamecock bow because you best better believe I will be dressing her in Gamecock. I'm sure at some point someone on my husband's side of the family will give me some Clemson things because they had family that went to Clemson and that will be okay. I will, I will put her in Clemson, but we will always remember that her first bow was Gamecock. Um, Alright, and so in this basket I just have a bunch of clothes that I plan on hanging, but like I said, um, they don't fit my rod, so we'll have to figure something out. But look at this cute little bathing suit. The other day I ordered a 4th of July outfit because that's gonna be her first holiday and I'm so excited. Such a cute little bathing suit. And I've just got some different outfits in here that were given to us and whatnot. But yeah, I'm not gonna show you all of these. Also got a little elephant thing that was sent to us. And yeah, a bunch of other clothes. I also forgot that this was sent to us and it's a my first year and it has pictures or it has spaces to put her pictures in each month or whatever and then a big spot for when she's a year old. So yeah, this was also a gift. That is everything. That is all the baby stuff. Uh, like I said, I didn't show you every single item but I definitely showed you everything that was sent to us. Uh, thank you, thank you so much to everyone who has sent us uh, stuff. Like I said, I plan on sending out thank you slash announcement cards or whatever. So I will probably be asking for addresses and stuff. Um, or there's a chance like if a friend of my mom sent me something or whatever, I'll send her an extra card to give you. Um, if you didn't send me anything, definitely don't feel bad. But if you would like an announcement card, let me know and I'll still send you something. I know times are hard right now and I completely understand that. Even if you took the time to just pray for us, we are very thankful for that because, um, yeah, this has been an interesting pregnancy being overseas and everything. So thank you so much to, to everything. Like, if you send us something, if you prayed for us, if you've just been, you know, supporting me on Facebook, I'm thankful for everything. Um, I know this wasn't like the traditional little baby shower or whatever. It's definitely been different. If it were up to me, I would be having a little party and dressed in my cute little dress and opening gifts, but it's okay. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching on this Facebook, go check out my YouTube channel. Um, I've been trying to post on it more. I'm sure once the baby comes, I'll get a little less frequent. Um, but yeah, thank you for everything and I will see you in my next video if you're on YouTube and if you're watching this on Facebook, um, you're gonna get to see the baby a lot because I'll be posting her there. So thank you. Bye!